you know, the universe is really trying to G you up, tweak you a little bit more, you know, give a little oil there, a little oil there, and get rid of fucking everything that's no longer serving you that you refuse to get rid of. No pain, no new beginning. No pain, no gain. That's the only way you do it. When you want to level up, make more money, date a hotter guy, have a hotter body, no pain, no gain. That's just how it goes. You put some elbow grease into it. <laughs> Don't mind my Billy Ray Cyrus hair through the video. I tried to do a Kim Kardashian wet, wet back hair, you know, like the wet back hair do, but it just went Chewbacca style. So it went, you know, my Kim Kardashian wet hair back hairstyle went Chewbacca, Billy Ray Cyrus style. So don't mind it through the video. Anyways, happy watching. So I noticed like within my own life, y'all. So this is just a little bit cherished love tea time. Like I have noticed in my own life because we are heading some, the last of the energy um, frequency level ups going into 2024 so that being said there is a lot of calamity do y'all ever hear calamity jane's like this american lady legend like she's this american legend so these last energies this last like sprint of into 2024 is definitely going to bring in some brand new energies uh if you're not at the level that you're supposed to be going into 2024 if you are not walking and talking like your higher motherfucking self baby guaranteed the angels will boost you okay so you will get rid you will start not just you will not start resonating with people's places and things and work environments that you do, have, do not fuck with anymore so for example, for myself, I definitely have noticed that in my own spiritual awakening, because this last four years has been like, woo, spiritual awakening, here we go. And then boom, you hit through a wall like the motherfucking Kool-Aid man. And then you're like all good in the hood and everything's all peaches and cream. And then all of a sudden, boom, you hit another motherfucking wall. That's literally for the last four years, the collective has been going through spiritual awakening after spiritual awakening, spiritual awakening. And then we have some folks who just don't want to face their motherfucking shadow aspects. So they're just being dragged right now. Like pretty much let go or be dragged. Because <laughs> the great awakening is coming whether you motherfucking like it or not. So baby, while you're planting seeds and you're doing your inner work and you're taking the depression, crying and letting the spiritual awakening, you will not resonate with workplaces that you've been at for 10 years. You will not resonate with um, groups and organizations that you fucked with for a long time. You, things will not start being the same. Relationships will not be the same. You might even quit drinking. You might even quit smoking weed because it just doesn't resonate with your body anymore. You might quit going to certain sports games or doing habits with some dusty old musty friends you used to hang out with. You might even eject yourself from different friendships. Going into 2024 in these last two months, the universe is really going to really, if you haven't done all this yet, if you're in a job that makes you so unhappy and it's not, you're just drag your ass there so you can eat and pay your bills, the universe will definitely make way to kick your ass out. So if you're not happy there, mother, quit. There's a million jobs. You have to have the abundance mindset. There are millions of jobs out there. There's millions of ways that make me happy that I can make money. This is the energies going into 2024. So I just got to tell you this. And also, if you start to notice more people start hating on you or there's more haters, bullies, whatever, congratulate yourself, okay? Because you got to know the fan. Don't let that rain on your parade, okay? Still be the most beautiful, unique, authentic star seed with your weirdo self, with your beautiful, unique personality. Still be your beautiful, gorgeous self because like, why fit in when you were born to stand out? Let everybody be brand name no name sheep generic as fuck and y'all you will be hated on because you are different you choose to be your authentic self you choose to be your who you br were br supposed to be in this world for okay so you live 40 lives in your past lives and you develop something called a personality and you carry that why do you think people can just sprint so fucking fast and become Olympians and they just naturally have always been motherfucking great runners? Why? Because they have developed that skill over many lifetimes. Whoopi Goldberg, comedian in the old English days. She was a jokester. She was an actor in the old England days. Literally, she came back. She just said, since she was born, I've always wanted to be a, I've always wanted to be a comedian. I've always wanted to be a jokester. Well, guess what? She, her spirit always led her to that. You, we were born with our gifts because we were meant to shine it in this day and age to share it with the world. And like I always say, God will make room for your gifts, which means your passion becomes your profession, baby. Your passion becomes your profession. And just best believe with God and divine timing, the money will come. 
Yes, baby. You don't have to work in this small piddly ass. Yes, I said piddly ass because I heard this one lady say it before and I always wanted to use it. So boom, I dropped it. <laughs> Priscilla, her name was. Um, you don't want to you don't want to settle for these piddly ass environments, friendships, lackluster community events that you force your ass to. No, if you grew out of that shit, let yourself grow. Why? Because if you don't let yourself grow, the universe is going to make you manifest some kind of tower moment, a firing, your boss is going to fire you, business is going to go out of business, something's going to happen. You got to always follow your intuition, your heart, and your gut. It never goes wrong. Trust me, it saved my life so many times. I'm not even lying. I almost died like six times, different times, different ways. <laughs> so I'm, I'm speaking from experience. Tell me if I get lipstick on my motherfucking chin. And you know what? Even if I do, I'm still going to keep talking on because... Girl, your girl has big lips and sometimes I get this shit all over it and it's whatever. But I'm just so happy and I'm just so thankful for all this change and all the new energies and frequencies coming in because it's just filling me up with so much faith. I feel like I've I'm almost got to my fifth infinity stone. You know when the um, infinity stones, when he almost gets to, and he feels like he locked into all the secrets of the matrix. I feel like I deserve my fifth infinity stone because like what can, you know, I feel like I've just like keep surviving. And then I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> that um, they hang over when Chan's like, when they're bitching about almost dying and Chan's like, but did you die? But did you die? <laughs> Honestly, that's how I feel. So definitely remember going into 2024, there's these last little, you know, the universe is really trying to G you up, tweak you a little bit more, you know, give a little oil there, a little oil there and get rid of fucking everything that's no longer serving you that you refuse to get rid of. No pain, no new beginning. No pain, no gain. That's the only way you do it. When you want to level up, make more money, date a hotter guy, have a hotter body, no pain, no gain. That's just how it goes. You put some elbow grease into it. You can do it, put your back into it. So be prepared. Going into this next little couple months, you're going to be facing a lot of things that will not resonate with you anymore. And you got to let that shit go. Just let it go. Stop holding on. It's not serving you anymore. It's done. Let those old snakes in the grass, old friendships, um, co-workers, bye, bitch, bye, I'm motherfucking Beyonce up in here, like, every single room I walk into, like, you're, you're blessed to even breathe the same air, or even, like, look at me, <laughs> okay, so I love you so much, my beautiful baby, let all that shit that's trying to leave, leave, because you know what I'm talking about, you've just been really in denial and putting it off, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, let it leave, there's the door, bye, and have faith in God, have faith in God for your plan coming up because you are worthy of a great job. You're worthy of great friends. You're worthy of such a great relationship. You're worthy of beautiful environments with reciprocal networking and reciprocal, beautiful, high energy people. Like it's, it's amazing. The world's just so fucking beautiful that just everything you want starts to run after you and you start to attract everything you've ever wanted. Like that's literally how it works. When you start having faith and trust in God and putting, pouring into your own cup and having healthy boundaries and saying no to people, places, and things that that's done their chapter, rest in peace, nail on the coffin, bye. Bone thugs in harmony crossroads. <laughs> You will start waking up to higher environments, more money, better relationships, networking, traveling the world, money coming in. And this is speaking from example. And I still got to paint this wall back here. Beige brown, motherfucker. I think I've decided on beige, on beige brown, but I'll let y'all know because, yeah, that's that we need to do something with that. All right. But I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the great work. And if you have any problems in this next two months, three months, always cry it out. Be present with yourself through the heartbreak. That's the biggest thing. As soon as you say, it's okay that you're sad. It's okay you're depressed. You just went through um, quitting your job. You just went through a bad breakup. You just went through a friendship breakup. You just went through a family fight. It's okay. Of course you're heartbroken. It's all right. So if you have a sad bitch day and you wake up super depressed and sad, just tell yourself it's okay. It's okay to be depressed and sad, baby. You really have to talk to yourself. Talk to your inner child and be like, it's okay, I love you, I'm here for you. Of course you have a broken heart. Look at what the fuck you just went through. It's okay to be depressed and sad. I'm here for you. I got you. Let yourself know it's okay to wake up a sad bitch. And then after 10 minutes, literally, I'm not even lying, it just fades away. Why? Because you're alchemizing the pain into healing and it goes back to the Godhead. That's literally what you do. The best way to heal is to face it and sit with it and be present and talk to it and be like, it's okay, my beautiful heart. It's okay, little cherish that you're broken hearted and you woke up really sad and depressed. It's okay. 
I'm here for you, I'm not leaving you, I love you. And it's okay to feel like that. You just went through this huge family fight, this huge best friend breakup. It's okay to feel like this, I love you. And guess what? I will never leave you. I will always love you. Whitney Houston. <laughs> okay, so as soon as you do that, you'll notice that the emotions like start to, the heartbreak and the really brutal um, pain you're feeling, emotional pain you're feeling will, will cease. It'll slowly cease. And then the next time you'll feel it, it'll be even lighter with the pain, emotional pain, okay? And that is how you heal your broken heart and depression through all this transitions that's gonna happen in the next three months for you, okay? And that's already been happening for you. It's already been happening. <laughs> okay, so gentle reminder, love yourself extra, talk to yourself, who gives a fuck if people like think you're a weird bitch. No one cares, okay? Just do it for yourself. I love you so much, my beautiful baby. I'm so proud of you, I love you so much. And drop me a message if y'all need anything. Leave a comment below on other exercises to help other people to heal through the spiritual awakening. That keeps fucking happening every other, every three weeks. <laughs> and yeah, I love you so much and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Channel.